This is James from Gamefront with a Far Cry 3 Signature Weapons Guide. In this video, I'm going to give a brief description of each of the weapons, tell you how to unlock them and how much they'll cost you. Afterwards, I'm going to show you them in-game so you can get a little taste of their violence. The first weapon we're going to take a look at is the Japanese Tanto. It's a machete upgrade, a melee upgrade if you will. Now this is the only weapon that will cost you nothing at the store. All you have to do is unlock it. To unlock it you have to find six of the letters of the lost. Now there's 20 of them scattered amongst the islands, but you only need to get six. And it don't matter which six. Uh, this upgrade's pretty nice. What it does is it basically is a twice as powerful knife. Knife. Uh, typically, it will take you two slashes to kill a regular unarmored soldier or bandit or pirate. Uh, with the Japanese Tanto, it takes one. You do the math. The next weapon we're going to take a look at is the Shadow. I find this to be the most fun gun to unlock because the the steps are the most fun. What you gotta do is liberate 17 outposts. Basically, you go in there, try to stop them from getting the alarm off before you kill everybody in the base. It's gonna cost you $2,600 to have it permanently unlocked in the store. So, once you've unlocked the shadow, you'll notice that it's a pistol. It's a customized 1911 pistol with a larger magazine, a silencer, and a custom paint job. This thing is enhanced for accuracy and stealth. Now, here's James's rundown on it. Yeah, it's accurate. It's super accurate. But, it doesn't have any range. You can't shoot more than 100 feet with this damn gun. So, why do you need it to be super accurate if, you can't, if you're not shooting very far? Uh, I would I would say that I could sacrifice some of the accuracy for a little bit more range. The damage is average. For a pistol, it takes about two shots to kill a guy. Now, that's not bad, and, and the fire rate's decently quick for a pistol. Um, and it's a silencer, so I don't know. It's a good gun, but I would wait, I'd wait and get one of the other better signature weapons. Um, but it does have the advantage of being really fun to unlock, so do what you will. The next signature weapon we're going to look at is the cannon, which is also a pistol. This one's unlocked by collecting 40 Ubisoft points and then purchasing it through their Uplay interface. I gotta be honest, I, I'm not impressed with the fact that they have more achievements for me to do and I get points separate to unlock things like wallpapers and tattoo packs and blah 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 blahs. But nonetheless, that's how you get it. You need 30 points. You do uh, things such as crafting needles and surviving in the wilderness and unlocking handbook stuff in order to get those points. Lame if you ask me. The cannon's a little bit more expensive than the shadow, but not by much. It's going to cost you $2,790 to unlock this permanently inside the store. But this gun is better than the other pistol. It's a customized 44 Magnum with an extended barrel, optical sight, 6 round chamber, and a custom paint job. Enhanced for accuracy and damage. Now, this one's got... It says that it has the same amount of range as the other pistol, but I find that it does... I don't know, it goes a little further for me. Maybe I'm just lucky with my shots. Um, it's not quite as accurate, but it's got a much higher damage rate. Uh, but it only has six shots before you have to reload it. I like this weapon because I was finding that it's a one-shot kill. Doesn't matter if you're hitting their arm or leg. They're dead when you put a bullet from this gun into their body. Next up in queue is the Shredder, which is a submachine gun you unlock by collecting 10 memory cards. There's a total 20 scattered on the island. After collecting 10, then you will spend $3,275 to unlock it permanently in the stores. Although the task of collecting 10 memory cards is a bit monotonous, I think it's worth it because when you have this customized Vector 45 ACP with reflex sight, suppressor, extended magazine, and custom paint job, the shredder is definitely great. It's enhanced for accuracy and damage. You will notice that when you're shooting from the hip, you can get great kills at a great distance, better off than using a pistol aiming down scope. Taking all that into account, I'd say the shredder is the jello of guns because there's always room for it in your inventory. Boom! Now we're gonna take a look at the bull, which is a shotgun that you unlock after finding 10 relics out of 120 and then spending $3,010 to unlock it permanently inside of a store. Now, the bull shotgun is a customized 133 shotgun with an extended shell capacity and a custom paint job. It's enhanced for damage. Now, what it doesn't list that it has is a reflex sight added to the top. I don't know why they don't put that in the description. 
Um, and it's, I'd say it's helpful. You can shoot from the hip with this shotgun, but I find it to be even more accurate when you aim. Uh, surprise, surprise. Now, I refuse to call this a necessary gun for your inventory. It's a good shotgun, and yeah, shotguns are fun to tote around with you, but in the big scheme of things, there are more efficient weapons for killing out there. So, I would say only pick this up if, if you're a completionist and you want the shotgun. One of the more difficult signature weapons to unlock is the Bushman. This assault rifle is unlocked after activating all of the radio towers, so you can't do this until you actually have access to the South Island, which is, I'd say, about halfway through the game, if not more. Then, after activating the radio towers, you have to dish out an additional $3,800. Now, it's a pretty good weapon, so let's take a look at the Bushman here. It's a customized P416 with optical scope, extended magazine, a suppressor, and a custom paint job. It's enhanced for accuracy and damage. Seems like all these signature weapons are. Now, it's a pretty accurate weapon. I would say it's uh, less accurate than the Shredder from personal use. Uh, and I'd say the damage is about the same as the Shredder. I don't really feel it has much of an advantage over the Shredder, other than the fact that I like the scope a little bit more. Um, but overall, I would say if you're going to put the two next to each other, the Shredder is going to give you a much better uh, rounded gun. That being said, there are four spots for guns. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to have the Bushman in your inventory. It's quite a bit of fun when you're shooting at cars, too. One of the more fun signature weapons to unlock is the Ripper. This light machine gun is unlocked by completing six of the 12 Rakyat Trials. Then afterwards, you're gonna have to shell out 4,200 bones for it. I know that's pretty expensive, but the Ripper is a customized MKG with optical scope, extended magazine, and a custom paint job. It's enhanced for accuracy, damage, and low recoil. This is one hell of a light machine gun. The accuracy while shooting from the hip is pretty amazing. You're basically a wall that blows gusts of lead towards any direction you're looking at. But if you need to be able to use a little bit more accuracy and shoot from a distance, it seems like you can shoot for miles and miles. Although it's a little tough to see things in the distance through your scope, you will still shoot what you're pointed at. I'm impressed. The last signature weapon that we're going to take a look at is the AMR. This sniper rifle is unlocked after finding 20 relics. There's 120 relics out there. That's more relics than there are Starbucks in a city. So no complaints on that part. But it's $4,800, making this the most expensive weapon to permanently purchase from the store. In the big scheme of things, I really think it's worth that. Maybe even more. I mean, it's a customized Z93 with extended magazine, high-powered scope, and a custom paint job. It fires an explosive penetrating round and it's enhanced for damage at a long range. What more can you ask for from a sniper rifle? This gun is so dang powerful that you can take out a moving vehicle, or, or still vehicle, it doesn't matter what it's doing, but you can take it out in two shots, two bullets, blow an entire vehicle up. Anybody that's inside instantly meets their demise. In case anybody's worrying, this sniper rifle also works on human flesh. It's like a knife going through room temperature butter. Uh, two people in a row? Not a problem. This gun works when you want it, how you want it. Just to end this video, I want to just shoot one of these cars coming. Look at that zoom. I can change it. Pow. Oh, yeah. I love this damn gun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.